So I just arrived in Manila last night. I was exhausted. I had a 6 a.m. flight from Japan to Guam to here, Manila, the capital of the Philippines. And then I was like, crap, I have to fulfill my promise to you and have at least five videos a week, Sunday through Thursday. It was Thursday and I didn't have a video, so I decided to come down here in this very exact spot and shoot a one shot, one take video with my iPhone that I had to get perfect with the start and the stop button to e upload and be able to sleep that night. Otherwise, I would have to be editing the whole video the entire night. This place is incredibly hot, incredibly distracting. I'm messing up on my videos. Take 15, I'm finally getting it right, finally pulling it off. And as I'm about to finish, this little kid walks up to me, he hits my arm, and he says, money, give me money. I look at him. I'm like, no, I never give money to street kids especially. You may consider me a jerk for saying that, but consider the fact that a lot of these street kids have abusive parents who are drug addicts or alcoholics and send these kids out there to fuel their addiction, or worse, a local gang that uses these little kids to extort the tourists for their operations. So I never, ever give money to street kids. I didn't even have any money because I still didn't even exchange my money. I said no, and he's standing there for five minutes. Finally, he leaves. I'm doing my video two minutes later, interrupts me again. He has a bottle of water that someone gave him and he's like, here, you want some water? Here. I'm like, this is one incredibly smart street kid. I told him no. He wouldn't leave me alone. I was like, what do you want? He's like, take picture. Picture me. Picture. I said, fine. I took a picture of him. He finally leaves. I finish my video. It's four o'clock in the morning. I go back upstairs, upload it, and the video's out. Next day, I'm walking out here. I walk down to the local restaurant, I see him again, he's like, money, and I'm like, no, no way. I sit down, I'm looking at my food, and I look over in the window, and he's staring at me in the window. I'm like, all right, kid, come on. He's scared, he's shocked, he doesn't know what the hell's happening. I'm like, just pick what you want. Pick what you want to eat. He didn't even know what he wanted to eat. I picked out something for him, got him a sandwich. He sat down. And I'm like, go wash your hands. He washed his hands. I'm eating, but he's not eating. I'm like, kid, I don't want anything from you. You don't have to do anything. Sadly, in these kind of countries, there's a lot of evil, vindictive, sadistic tourists that come here to take advantage of the women and also the little kids. I told him specifically, kid, I don't want anything from you. Just enjoy your meal. He's like, okay, wait, wait. He goes outside, comes back five minutes later with a smaller kid here, and he cuts his sandwich in half and he gives it to that other kid. I gave that kid a number of chances to steal from me, to pit pocket me. He never did. I ended up talking to him. We ended up playing video games on our iPhone. His parents are alcoholics that send him out here in the streets. He's illiterate. His teeth are rotting. His family beats him if he doesn't collect enough money every night. And I just spent the entire night with him until the restaurant closed. And I had to go back here, helpless, because I knew deep down I couldn't do anything. People think I earn a lot of money, but I actually don't. I earn less than $10,000 a year. I'm staying at a $5 freaking hostel right now. I can't help these kids. And these globalist, corporate, international banksters who set up banana republics like the Philippines, with their stupid neoliberal policies are looting this world. The pain that you feel from the banksters is not one hundredth of what these people feel. I've seen hundreds of kids, there's millions of them in this entire world with no food, with no water, with no shelter, with abusive freaking parents, with no freaking life at all. And I feel helpless because I can't do anything. And these elites are winning. Appreciate the little things you have because these people here have barely anything. This is Lugardowski of WeAreChange.org and I probably will regret making this video. But whatever you may need here today in New York City, I will help you and I cannot refuse you. If you tweet at me, 